Hey, good morning. This is the inside garden. Here is my accommodation in Samarkand. I just arrived last night, so basically today is my first day here. That means today we go visit Registan. Probably the main attraction here in Samarkand. I mean, if we were to choose one, it's probably the most famous at least, I guess. I will show you the guest house in more detail in one of the next videos. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> but now let's go. Here in the middle we have a big statue of the former president, Islam Karimov. It's actually the first president of the Uzbek Republic. Uzbekistan after 1991 after the separation from the Union the Soviet Union yeah, this is really big And here we have some snack bar. Pretty nice. All right, so basically you get this view for free. But uh, somewhere there, there's Casa or ticket office. And I think for about four dollars, you can uh, enter the square and uh, enter the mosque and the madrasas as well. So of course we're gonna do that. Very nice. <laughs> okay, if I wake up earlier tomorrow, maybe I come here to see if without people. Really nice. Alright, so this is my selfie attempt. That's <laughs> probably gonna be terrible. Uh, selfie attempt number two. Okay, this is the last chance. If not, I'm gonna photoshop my face. <laughs> Bought myself a ticket. So you have a QR code, very modern. And you just scan it every time you enter somewhere, I suppose. Foreign citizens, so probably probably the locals have it cheaper. Uh, this is gonna this is like uh, yeah, four dollars, four dollars fifty. But it's a pretty good deal since you get to visit a lot of stuff here. So let's do it. During the Timurid Empire. This public square was used for royal announcements, but also public executions. So, yeah, a lot going on here in this square. Hi, Charlie. Sure. My name is Kamadash. Hello, nice to meet you. So, what do I do? Where do I stay? Like here? Mm -hmm. Take one with this one too. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Thank you for your attention. Thank you too. Offers. Thank nice you too. That was fun. Thank See you. ya. <laughs> Bye. Just got interviewed by uh, some local girls. <laughs> Very nice and friendly. Uh, yeah, I think my interview was awkward, but not because of them, but because of me. My answers were pretty weird. They were asking me about, you know, job and how satisfied I am with one thing or another. Uh, it was fun, nevertheless. I like friendly people. Some fun facts now. Registan means uh, sandy place or desert. Probably there was a lot of sand here back in the day when the caravans were coming here from China and the Far East, going to Europe or the other way around. Samarkand was a very important point, you know, on the Silk Road. 
Man, can you imagine what a journey that was? Traveling for days in the desert and then, wow, it's like an oasis here. This madrasa, the one on the left, Ulugbeg Madrasa, is the oldest one. It was built between 1417 and uh, 1420. That's actually, yeah, more than 600 years old now. Okay, let's, so let's go explore a little bit of this one on the left, Ulugbeg Madrasa. Shops, but also some benches, nice little trees, and of course these tiles, and very beautifully decorated. No, thank you, thank you. It's good no, no, tea. no. I, I, I already had too much. Thank you so much. This is no, no, how much? This for you? <laughs> no, no. I, 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 I already had too, too much. I already it's drank too much. Thank you, sir. Oh, Uzbek tea. <laughs> thank you, sir. This Hilda or no problem. Okay, so I got this tea, which I tried to refuse, but uh, he didn't take no for an answer. And some souvenirs here. So yeah, apparently they were leaving here, the students and the teachers. So some of these, uh, some of these rooms were uh, classrooms, and uh, most of these on the side were dormitories. So yeah, basically I'm now. Uh, a souvenir shop that used to be a room, a dorm room for some of the students here at the madrasa. And I'm having a tea. I know probably he invited me because he wants to get something. Either I buy or give him something, I don't know. Probably he, that's the, the intention. Anyway, very nice. Thank you. Cheers. <sighs> The carpets. The legs really nice. Okay, so I heard that if you go on the other side of the madrasa, basically we entered somewhere there, and if we go here. There's a chance that we climb to the second floor and we can get a different uh, perspective. To be fair, it's pretty nice from here. I think it's pretty nice that uh, the guy at the souvenir shop, he didn't try to sell me anything. He didn't want to charge me for the tea. Yeah, well, I bought a small magnet because I thought, wait, I can show you. It's not even the best magnet in the world. I mean, it's not bad, but I just thought, okay, he was nice. I kind of, you know, wanted to buy something small and he charged me 20 cents for it or like 17 cents or something like that. And I tried to pay more, you know, like 50 cents. And she was, no, no, no. And I was like, come on, man, you know, for, for the chai, for the tea and for the magnet, I mean, the least I could do, like, come on, it's 50 cents, you know, like 5,000 som. And uh, no, he insisted to give me the change correctly. And he said, no, you're in Uzbekistan now. Of course, the tea is just a gift. You always get it for free. And uh, yeah, I think that's really nice. Very genuine people, love it. Look at this door.
Uluk Beg was the grandson of Amir Timur and he also ruled over the empire. He was more focused on science than on conquering new territories. Uluk Beg Madrasa was a very important uh, religious learning place in the 15th century. Actually, back then was one of the most important in the world. It's, it's a lot of stuff to see inside, including this uh, museum dedicated to Ulugbeg, who was, uh, as said, uh, into religious learning, but also mathematics and astronomy. There's even a, an observatory here in Samarkand. Hopefully I get to visit in the, lo in the next days. I just check a bit. Yes, it is no problem, brother. No problem. Oh, so many nice plates here. No problem. Uh, they would probably not let me on the plane with this knife. <laughs> uh, knife is certification final. Yeah. And hand makes coffee. Very nice. Okay, so up there yeah. you said? Yeah. Let's go. So a study room, he had the madrasa. It's a long instrument. And some drawings or paintings of uh, Amir Timur. Very nice place, huh? Maybe small secret boxes, you know? Oh, but that's too, too big for my uh, backpack. <laughs> I, have, I have a lot of stuff with me. Magnet is Okay, nice. okay. Maybe we take a magnet. How much is one magnet? It is different. 30,000, 40,000, 100,000, 80,000, 90,000, 100,000. Work. Okay, handmade. so these are handmade. Yes, handmade. Okay, that's why they are so expensive, huh? Yes, yes, hand working for you. Yeah, that's that's really nice. It's a bit much for me, but yes. <laughs> but it's really no nice. Problem. What are these? It is for Christmas decoration. Oh, for Christmas? Yes. Oh, they have really nice shape. <laughs> Thank you so much okay. for the for showing me these. Okay, so nice thing, you know? Okay, there's so much stuff here. Very interesting. Masterwork. Yeah. Miniature aqua Okay, I'm gonna check real quick. Collection painting, miniature aqua and And by ceramic, no heavy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also master work. Give me a little explain how made this ceramic. Look, very beautiful ceramic in Uzbekistan, my friend, like this one. Like how much is this ceramic? 250, 300 years old. Mm -hmm. This is my grandfather, man, like 18th, 19th century. But today my family, and me, look, how made this ceramic? The first time, just only clay, handmade, and put on 700 degrees. Mm -hmm. After burning, put on angov. Angov is like clay. Put on clay and put on 800 degrees. After painting, also hand working, hand painting and glaze and for 930, 950 degrees is put enough to look. <laughs> like really nice. no? And also master after working for here name, master signature. Okay. One master, only one work, no another copy. Master work for here name and no look for the signature. Okay, so this is the signature here yeah. on the back. This time no only decoration, maybe eat, maybe dishwashing, micro washing, no problem. Mm -hmm. the best quality ceramic on the very strong ceramic <laughs> crazy stuff is uh, uh so how how much is this it's probably this very expensive dollars oh that's like, like 120 135 000 soon wow that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot it's for me okay going to the balcony it's quite a challenge
और पीस में भी मैं ठीक है सही और फिर बीस में होगा इतना ये बीस में ही मांग The one in the middle is uh, Tilyakori Madrasa. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing correctly. It's the newest of the madrasas here uh, in Rajasthan. It was built between 1646 and 1660, so it's still almost uh, 400 years old. Tilia Kori Madrasa has a very beautiful courtyard, don't you think? To be honest, they all do. But this one also has an impressive mosque. The ceiling is magnificent and holds a pretty cool illusion. It looks like a dome, right? But in reality, it's completely flat. So, you can impress your friends with this fun fact when you come here and visit. So much beauty, really. You cannot stop filming these. This room of Mudaris, professor's room, okay. with the bookshelves, one, two, three, four, it was mini library. Uh, can I, can I feel yes, this? Yes, oh, yes, thank yes. you so much. You see, so those bookshelves here, niche for the oil lamp on top, and fireplace in corner. Sometimes people ask, fireplace in professor's room, what kind of heating system was in student okay. room? The student room was special heating system. You can take it, sir. Oh, a special heating system which we're calling Sandali. Sandal heating system, even today, is still popular. It is a lower table. And then it's whole resort calls. Okay. Around Matras, sitting on the floor, putting bits and and taking warm. Such heating system, even today, is still in our mountain and villages. When we say Suzani, Suzani is a needle. Suzani, made by needle. And here we can see it. Uh, classic traditional pattern which came from time of Zoroastrian family protected by sun, earth, wind, fire, earth, air, water elements. Black and white, in yang, positive, negative, ram's horn, symbol of wealth, triangle protection from evil eye, and sky with clouds and stars. All of these details have special signification. When we say sky with clouds and stars, it means never you can see sky without clouds, without stars, like no lives are problems. Classic traditional embroidery uh, so was until coming here Islamic religion. When came Islamic religion, exactly most of the pattern was changed to pomegranate. Okay, pomegranate. And now we can yeah, see nice. pomegranate and flowers pattern. This kind of flowers and fruits is was symbol of fertility and convenient generation. Yeah. For this kind of reason now we can see a lot of pomegranates and a lot of flowers around. Yeah, I saw a lot of pomegranates yes. like in the market everywhere. Yes, yes. They they uh, sell this fresh juice. 
<laughs> yes, exactly. It's like symbol of fertility, and exactly. Even today, sometimes people ask, "Are you sure it is true? Pomegranate is fertility?" We say, 20 million was population in Uzbekistan in 1990. Okay. Now, after 30 years, we are 36 million. <laughs> okay. Yes. <Yeah>, 80 <laughs> percent grow. It means yeah, all uh, pomegranate. <laughs> that's a good explanation, yes, yeah. It is a pomegranate. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, for this kind of reason, we're now still selling such embroidery with the special signification of fertility. <laughs> fertility factors. Very nice. So that was Professor Room. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you so much for the oh, no, awesome. <laughs> So nice. Yeah, it was a uh, special Uzbek day. Uh, was organized by uh, Kultur Asia and our embassy. Okay. Yeah, together. And you liked it? Did you enjoy? It? Oh, we enjoyed, but it was less like five days only. Only okay. one day was a break for us, and we uh, look around. But other days we was busy in exhibition. Okay. Yes, but it was, but it, was uh, it was still an experience. So you liked it? Fantastic. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Wow, sounds like a recording. Is this for real? This is, this is madness. Now it's officially closed. I think they close at five. This whole complex at Registan, they, they close um, the ticket office at five. So it's always good to come one or two hours earlier or even more. And uh, then you can enjoy it later on as well. No one is gonna kick you out, at least not so soon. Now it's already 6 p.m. And uh, okay, all the shops or most of the shops are already closing or already closed and uh, the rest are about to to close as well but still no one is kicking you out so that's pretty nice you can still explore the light is not so good but uh, you still get to see some stuff pretty cool thing about this uh, madrasa behind me the one with the tiger is that it has this uh, 40 meter minaret well there are some minarets around here and apparently you cannot climb any of them but there is a small trick or so I heard on the internet I don't know if it's this one or that one probably this one but you can climb one of these two minarets by going to a guard and telling them that you would like to do that and there's this rumor so again i didn't try it but i so i heard if you give them about ten dollars which uh, for uzbekistan is a pretty good amount uh they are gonna let you climb it 
they're gonna join you like halfway where the where there's a terrace probably like there you see there's a small terrace you can take some photos from there or film a bit and uh, then the rest of the climb you do it on your own but i heard it's pretty steep narrow claustrophobic so if you suffer from fear of heights or claustrophobia or yeah <laughs> any of these uh maybe you should not try it maybe i i think i would be tempted to try it but maybe it's better during the day you have better views i don't know my gopro is pretty sucky at night and uh i forgot my uh gimbal i forgot my gimbal at home i mean at the hotel so yeah probably the videos would suck